Okay, sorry, I had to put on my glasses. I know I don't look great. I don't care how I look. The last video I left, my brother uh, had no balls and went back inside after he lied to my face, basically, about my daughter being there, being okay. He wanted to spend time with her, too. They don't get to see her very much. We live about an hour and a half away from them. <clears throat> anyway, they go back inside, and it couldn't have been more than an hour after that. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't there to know exactly what happened, but I believe my mom and I will never just doubt her because she doesn't just embellish the situations. She tells the truth and when people uh, hear her truth, she doesn't, they don't like it because it's exactly the truth and people like things sugar-coated and most of the bad stuff brought out so that they're not the villain. Well, right now, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. My brother was a bastard. Uh, he got up in my mom's face, up in her face, in her, <clears throat> in my mom's face. I just want to say this several times. Her 40-year-old son got up in her 70-year-old face while she was trying to watch an 8-year-old handicapped little girl in a pack and play trying to go to sleep close to 10 o'clock at night is when this happened. I got a text from my mom 10 13 at night maybe this wasn't a good idea everything blew up i was asleep a dead sleep and i woke up to my brother saying you really left your daughter to sleep here on my birthday i didn't know that that was a big deal it was the end of the night he shouldn't have cared they are all adults he was having fun he was on three different substances that night as happy as he could be they ruined the whole night. They yelled. Police almost had to get involved. Luckily, we didn't have to pick our daughter up, which I wanted to, because when my mom finally got a hold of me, it was 12.38 at night. I had woken up very woozily. I was exhausted. I said, is she okay? Over and over and over. Apparently, she didn't hear much of this, which, thank God, my husband and I don't fight like that. But we are mourning my family now. We are mourning my brother. I'm not mourning his wife because she questioned my parenting again. You don't ever question another mother's parenting, especially when you're a shit mother yourself. Longer story. I give no names, but we are mourning the loss of a huge part of our family, a huge part of our life. I don't write people off easily, but when you cross me, when you cross my family and you put my child in danger when you're on substances and then you tell me that I'm dead to you, corpses can't be found, bro.